This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And now, oh God! For the, gold. Flair for the gold with your host, Nature Boy Rick Flair, featuring PP the Maid. Tonight's guest is the man who brought together the masters of the power bomb, Colonel Rob Parker. And now, Nature Boy Rick Flair. Is this the most regrettable segment in the history of television, or what? Oh, God. Take a look at the lady on my left. She's running my life now. It is the most regrettable segment. I mean, you take a guy who is known for being one of the most dynamic interviews in the history of the genre, and you somehow find a way to fuck it up and say, let's make him look goofy. Let's give him his, a bullshit Arsenio-style set you know, daytime TV style set and use that as a vehicle to get guys over that this looks fucking stupid. Oh, of course it's stupid, but let's, let's, let's take a positive spin here. Conrad had it not been for the set and flair for the gold, the shock master would have never been what he's become. Oh no. I'm thankful for all the ways the Lord has blessed us by the way. Is Colonel Robert Parker the dumbest gimmick in the history of wrestling? Well, uh, yeah. I'm saying that here's the thing. I get that once upon a time, this character could have been a thing, but I feel like this would have been a thing 10 years prior to this. The idea that we're doing this in 1993, I mean, it's like a, a boss hog sort of, I don't know. This is from a bygone era. Mm. I love the look here of the, uh, the little press conference rally here. Well, Sid Vicious himself, they will now be known as the masters of the power bomb. Whoa, I heard about that rally. And Flair is just so out of place. Like, oh, I'm trying to put everything over and pull my socks up at the same time. <laughs> and shout. Yeah, because that's all he knows how to do. I'm not saying that's that right. in an ugly way. I'm saying... You've had a perfect formula. I mean, it's never been, but yeah, we got to see this beat shit for the second time. Oh. How excited was Sharon Sadella to put this piece of shit out here for the world oh. to see? Jesus Christ. Let that be a lesson to you. If you got dumb <laughs> ideas like this and you want to get them on TV, just fuck Ole Anderson. <laughs> What's great is Ole Anderson has done a thousand shoot interviews where he just uh, says, oh, he was the shits. This guy was the shits. Everything was the shits. Oh, your idea is the shits. You don't know shit. Blah, blah, blah. Co-sign this fucking beach bullshit. Uh, was Oli booking back then? Yeah. Uh, Oli, Sharon Sadello, and Eric Bischoff. Oh, the, yeah, the, that's the, right. That's yeah, the, the triangle the, of management. That's right. The three-headed monster. Absolutely. And of course, Mike Weber was hanging with Sadello mm -hmm. and Flair was talking to Oli mm -hmm. and they had some, some folks who had a little bit of input. And then of course, Eric Bischoff's cracking his knuckles, mm -hmm. having fun with JR's mini fridge. <laughs> and eventually Bill Shaw saw this stuff and says, uh, eh, we got to put Bischoff in charge of everything. And he created the NWO and made Hulk Hogan a bad guy and mm -hmm. changed the business forever. Yep. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.